Okay, welcome back. This is part three of my newsletter uh, series, newsletter tutorials. And in the last video, we finished up our newsletter send form, and now we're just using getting our newsletter add form, pretty much. Uh, so this is exactly where we left off. So inside of here, we're just going to say uh, email, and then let me change this to a text box. So input type equals text and the reason I'm just I'm like completely really tired right now but I can't go to sleep <laughs> uh, so the type is gonna be a text and the name is just gonna be email and that's really all we need right there so what you wanna do is just copy and paste that get rid of that and change the type to uh, submit and the name to uh, submit button and oops, we're going to throw a value and we're just going to set the value to submit so pretty much that's it so we're going to say if and then we're going to end our if and we're going to say else and then our else is just going to echo our form so just like always, just like before. Um, inside of here, we want to put uh, dollar sign underscore post. Oops. And then inside of here, we want to put our submit button. So, yeah. So right here, we just want to get our email. And equals dollar sign underscore post. And then email. Now, just like before, I'm going to throw in the strip tags, because this is definitely something you want to put in strip tags for. Um, you want to always put in the strip tags function. Uh, if you're, anytime you're getting info from, <coughs> from a form that users can edit, like they can type in things in the form, or a text box, or whatever they're submitting, you always want to get, you, you always want to use the uh, strip tags function to make sure there's no HTML uh, because it could screw up your web page or your site for that matter. Uh, so we're just going to say if uh, dollar sign email and then I'm just going to say else echo you did not submit an email. <coughs> and then inside of here, we're going to do our str again. So we're going to make sure it's a valid email. Echo, um, you did not submit a valid, oops, valid email. So inside of here we have our str, str. So this is pretty much the exact code as before, except we're just changing webmaster to email. So inside of here we have email, comma, whoops, period. So that's that's pretty much it. This is pretty much the same code as before, which is why I didn't really explain it, because um, I already have. Uh, so inside of here, we pretty much just want to uh, require, require, uh, we just want to require our connect file. Because we've already checked to make sure this information is good. Now we just want to add it to our database. So we just want to say my, my SQL underscore query. And we want to say crap. There we go. So we want to say insert into. And then this is our newsletter. Um, and we want to say values and then like that so our first value is just our ID so it's a blank value because we have an auto increment and primary key and then the next one is just our email so dollar sign email and then we're just gonna echo out a nice little message and we'll say you have been added to our newsletter so there we go. 
and then if you want you might want to just display the form again uh, so yeah just like that so let's go ahead and go to our add page so add.php so we have our email form right here and then our submit button so I'm gonna go ahead and put in an email um, uh, I don't know, I'll just do this email .com. so I'm just gonna click submit you've been added to our newsletter and if we go to our newsletter right there and as soon as it loads oh, I'm gonna have to log in again okay password Oops. <coughs> so waiting waiting okay there we go hopefully okay so we have one email inside of our database so now we could technically use our form here and you can send so everything's working now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna test out this form uh, it will work though because it will because we coded it properly uh, but I'm not gonna test it out because I don't have my email information set on my local host so it's just gonna give me an error but if you're running this on a paid host or a hosting service anywhere online uh, it will work because they will have their uh, email information set up so you will be able to send emails uh, so that's the end of this video series um, so thanks for watching